Hi, I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies and this is the Bowtech SR350. So meant to be 350 feet per second, 25 to 30 inches in draw length, 4.4 pounds, 6 inch brace height. Now what's different about your Bowtech or different the technology of Bowtech? You can move this cam left to right. It's got a module you can flip from performance to smooth draw, so just flip it one way or the other. Rotating draw length, um, it's got a draw stop on the cable just there, so easy adjust draw length. Tuning ability, um, adjustable grips, so the grips just clip on and clip off. Um, roller cable guide there, which is flexible, so this reduces torque. Um, multiple side holes, two, two holes here. Um, you've got multiple positions there to put a rear stabilizer, if you you probably be put on the front um, cable stop. This system here is just to reduce the tension on the end of the lug so they wind it backwards and forwards because all the pressure then is not on that one lug. So that's why they do that. Um, I haven't shot this bow yet, so this is the first time for me doing shooting an SR350. The cams look very similar to the cams in the past, they're big egg shaped cams. So I expect this to build quickly, especially if it's 350 feet per second, and I expect a short belly. Um, the balance on the bow, the grip feels comfortable, the balance is excellent. That's my grip open. Now, I did a video talking about um, derailing your bow. This is how your grip should look, like that. Basically, the bow sits just there, just pivots. Not like that. That's going to create torque, so it sits like that. Um, look, you can see the bow just sits nicely. Just the hands relaxed. Feels good. Um, with Bowtech limb technology, you can see it's thinner here, then it gets thicker and then thinner. That's to distribute the weight over the entire length of the limb, so creating less stress um, on the limbs. The cams are generally fairly lightweight to increase the speed. So if you derail this bow, so you want to be an advanced archer, generally shoot this bow. If you derail this bow, these cams will fold over. No question. And then you're going to say the bow's faulty. No, you've torqued the bow. So these cams will fold over if they've got left or right pressure put on them. The pressure is designed to be this way. All right, let's try it out. I've got a basic three-pin side, a basic D-loop. Um, 350 feet per second, 60 pound bow, and I think it should be set at 29. Straight out the box. So that feels feels like the same. Feels like the same power from the first inch to the to the back. Doesn't feel any more or less. Now I just shot a HTR, Matthews HTR. This feels harder to draw at 60 pounds than the HDR did at 70. Oh, now with Bowtech they have these little rubber discs that you can place all over the bow to change the feel of the bow. That absorbs a bit of shock. Whether it's a gimmick or not, that's up to you. But you can place them wherever you want just to change the feel and you can change the colours on them. But in fact, Bowtech you can customise. You can choose the colour of the limbs, you can choose the colour of the riser. You can't choose the colour of the can. So I feel like there's the, it's a very short belly. Dead in the hand. Very nice draw cycle. Very nice, I like the grip. The grip is very nice. Draw cycle is very nice. Um, so, I own a full throttle, PSC full throttle. This is nothing like a full throttle draw cycle. This is smooth all the way through. It's one of the better draw cycles. It's a very good draw cycle. It's, it's better than some of the target bows. It's very, very nice. No shock, no vibration. Just watch the bow when I shoot it. It just sits there with no stabilizers.
fantastic though. Now, these little marks here, these are timing marks, so you can see when you fit a set of strings, you can see they're in between the two can two little timing marks, top and bottom. Look, that's it's a very simple system, it's good. This is a really good bow. I don't know what the price point is. We'll go and we'll go and work that out. We're gonna shoot this through a chronograph and see what sort of speeds we get. So I just went and compared the price on the SR Bowtech SR350 compared to other bows. I sell it for 1870 Australian dollars. Um, in America it sells for about 1200 which is about the same as that in Australia, the Australian dollar 65 cents versus the American dollar. Um, so it's about the same. Um, in Australia a lot of bows are significantly cheaper than American, so there's lots of price gaming going on, but Bowtech's on the money. Um, look at those graphics, they look fantastic. Um, I'm going to say with Bowtech, it takes me a while to get them. So with Bowtech, I order the bows. They probably take about two to three months to make them and then they go on a ship to Australia. That ship is taking about three months at the moment, so it's about a six month wait. It's a nightmare for me. Unfortunately, to bring them in by air is about $500 a bow. I haven't got a solution to that yet. Um, I have tried different freight companies, but very expensive for me. So uh, now by sea, I'm still paying a bit over $100 a bow. Now that equates to by air by like PSC and Elite at hundred dollars a boat. So Bowtech by air is five hundred, um, and by sea is about hundred, and the other companies are about hundred by air. So a little bit over hundred now. But we're going to shoot. This is a Victory VAP three hundred and fifty. I think it's three hundred and ninety grains per second. But I really like this bow. And at eight hundred and seventy, it prices pretty well in the market compared to the other speed bows. Um, Two eighty-two. That's pretty good. Um, now we're going to compare this sixty-pound bow to the seventy-pound Matthews HDR, which I just did a review with. Um, the seventy-pound HDR was two sixty-six with that arrow, and this is two eighty-two oh, for a sixty-pound. So this is a gold tip velocity. It weighs three twenty-seven grains. Three oh five. That's pretty good. I don't know if it's a three fifty, but lovely bow to shoot. The balance is great. And outdoors, like indoors, when I was shooting the first couple of shots, I was like, "Oh, it's a bit noisy," but it's echoing because I have nothing in the warehouse. Um, outside, it sounds really quiet. It sounds very dead. Um, one of my this is. Like, I'm going to say it's one of my favourite bows. And when I say it's my favourite favorite bow, that's then when I need to compare the other bows that are also my favourite bows and go, oh, which one do I like better? So I like the adjustable grip. The grip's very comfortable. I like the rotating modules. I like the flip modules. I like the drawing, how it adjusts. The finish on the bow looks, I think it looks a cool bow. Um, I think it's a very nice look finish. outside here it sounds it sounds silent all right we're going to take this inside um shoot 80 meters and see how well, we, how well i shoot with it okay so we're back at 18 meters and to be honest i haven't hit the 10 yet so i've scattered the arrows all around the target and when i adjust the sight the little plastic side i bump it and i bump it too much either that or i'm a crap shot one or the other and anything's possible at the moment um so we're going to just shoot these arrows and see how they go I love the way the bow shoots. So I'm gonna say that, I love the grip, I love the vibration, because it doesn't exist, I like the draw cycle, really like the bow. Now I've found in the past I shoot better with longer brace heights, because I'm a little bit more stable, and I get more accuracy with bigger brace height. So, so six inches will be interesting to see what sort of accuracy I get with it, um, but it is faster. So at longer distances, 
you know, for range finding. So if you like the difference between 45 and 50 meters, faster bow will be less sight gap. So you can be out with your distance judging more with a faster bow. All right, let's see how we go. Now, I'm finding the sight pin really stable. But saying that, I'm indoors, the light down the end is not great, so it might be I just can't see my sight pin moving around. Um, I was going to say, it could be all my staff are thinking I should be in hospital, but um, that we'll keep going and see how this group looks. Bow looks lovely, love the bow. Now when you compare bows, you go, which is the best bow of the bows you like? It's better to do it in, in light conditions, but all bows are extremely good these days. Um, so I really liked when I shot the Omnia. Um, I like the way, the grip, I like the grip on the Omnia, I like the light weight, I like the speed. Um, and this is pretty much the same to me. I like the grip, I like the features, I like the, light, I like the way the bow looks. Um, and hopefully I'll have an omen to test from PSC and see how that is. This feels fantastic to shoot. Yeah, you got the bit here for the two-piece quivers, which is the same as Elite. Um, your two-piece quiver you're going to get is from Tight Spot, and I think Bear also do a two-piece quiver for it. And I should say, Bowtech and Tight Spot, same company. So, you know, if you order a tight spot quiver, the Bowtech quiver is exactly the same, just has a Bowtech sticker stuck on the front of it. So the little plastic daub is a Bowtech one versus a tight spot. Um, but the quiver is identical. So when I get sight scenes, I normally have to walk up to the target between each arrow to see where the arrows land, because I can't see. Just see nothing down there. One more. Now, when you're doing these reviews and you don't hear arrows crunching down the other end, it's not a good sign. But the bow feels lovely to shoot. I think the last shot was great, but anyway, let's go have a look. Well, up here at the target, it's obviously not a great result for me. So 110, a couple of nines, another nine, and three eights high. Left and right's pretty good. So left and right looks pretty good. Um, and I would, the last shot was a bit, yeah, how's my mother? Up and down's a bit of an issue. So look, as I said, I seem to shoot better with seven inch brace height. Um, I would say my shooting is down a little bit at the moment and I don't know if it's because blood pressure, 
is high for me at the moment. Um, it's a little bit away from the place as far as my scores. Uh, my scores are definitely down at the moment. Um, but look, I really like the way the bow shoots. The, the SR350, lovely bow to shoot, lovely bow to draw. Grip's good, I like the tunability, I like the features in Bowtech. I just find I shoot better with the bigger brace height. And you know, where I get those arrows touching in the brakes. Those shots felt good. They, they felt like they broke good. The sight pin felt stable. Like I said, it's quite dark down here at the target. Um, but that group's average, and it's definitely not, it's not even in like, it's very average. But the bow feels amazing to shoot. And so the bow to me feels amazing. The group's average at best. Um, maybe I need to review this and shoot it outside. It's just, it was so windy today outside. Um, it was a waste of time to do a review outside. Anyway, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Thanks for watching. Um, check out, go and check your local um, shops for a Bowtech SR350 um, and see what you think and think, see how you think it compares to the other speed bows on the market. Thanks for watching. Bye.